guess, your, your initial thoughts after this uh, big one here. We played a, a really great second half. I mean, NNU is a tough team, tough program, and I'm really proud that we had the the discipline to get stops, and then we scored. It showed a lot of confidence being on our home court. Um, had some big kids step up, like Darren here, and, and that really made a difference. So I'm really proud that we held off their fight and um, and got the win tonight. Yes. Yeah, Speaking of that second half, just talk about the playmaking. It seems like every time any of you was, you know, trying to get back in the game, you know, get the lead, you guys answered the bell every single time, either getting a bucket or getting a key rebound. Well, I, I think I think some people really, uh, this team really wants to win. They really um, understand that certain things have to happen in order to do that. You can't just play the game and hope it does. They were making it happen, like Arnisha Smith. You know, she put lots of pressure on their guard so they couldn't just go and run what they wanted. And then conversely down the way, they, they were sagging off of her looking for, you know, Brianna Kirk to shoot, so she steps up and hits three. You know, those kind of things made a difference. Um, there was some smooth um, playmaking, like you said, that where our posts were just a little quicker than they were. Um, and we made great passes, you know. I mean, I, I'm sure we had 21 assists. That's a lot of assists because, you know, kids like Darren here, Stephanie, Jordan, they just worked well together on the, in the post game. And, and then, you know, kids stepped up and hit some outside shots, made a difference. Um, Cody, can you talk about coming out of halftime? You guys had like 13 to run, I think. Just talk about that. I mean, I think you guys finished the first half and they well, scored like five straight or something. Then. We made baskets. I, as far as I know, that makes a difference. Is, is scoring makes a difference. Um, you know, we just very smooth, in control, hit some outside shots, which, you know, our stats don't look like we're going to hit outside shots. So that made a difference because it got us a quick lead um, or back within one right away. Um, and then defen defensively, we... We went, we went from zone to man and, and made him take tough shots. And Darren and Stephanie and Jordan got some good rebounds. They really turned the corner for us. Uh, Darren, just talk about your, your game, your, your outburst here. The season high career high for you? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was just doing what I was supposed to do. We had a task given to us. And I know all the posts, we were like trying to just rebound and contain the other posts. And I think, I don't know, everything just clicked today. I guess um, given how this game turned out, Stephanie's in foul trouble, Jordan's in foul trouble. It's kind of like you're the only post left. Did you kind of take it, uh, I don't know, did you kind of take it personal? Like I guess at some point in the game, did you kind of like get in a rhythm? Yeah, I knew I kind of, I knew I had to step up since they're in foul trouble. And um, I just, I've been like, since the beginning of the season, I kind of been fighting like a nervousness. And so today I just felt, I didn't feel nervous today. So that was, I think that's really what helped me. And my teammates are always backing me up. So that really helped a lot too. Yeah, I think I know it's too soon like every bucket you got a little more confident. Um, is that is that kinda how you how you felt out there today? Yeah, definitely. And <coughs> I just felt like all the posts we just moved the ball well in inside, like we're looking high low and it's actually it's just clicking. That's that's just what really went down today. <laughs> um, and I guess also I guess from the players perspective, did you guys get energized and kinda wanna win this game for Kelly? I know she went down with an injury, I know she was cheering for you guys on the sideline. Yeah, we felt really bad and this I mean she's a senior and this is a big game for us and this was like the mini GNAC for us so we wanted to get this win and she couldn't be a part of it so we wanted to do it for her and that's a big thing. Um, can you just talk to me about winning or evening up your GNAC record with two greedy wins at home? Uh, that's a big deal. Where this program has come, um, for this team to be able to compete and knock off a team like Northwest Nazarene is a big step. I mean, 0 and 2, that's scary. You're already down in the hole. I mean, the conference record is what matters. That's what gets you to postseason. Um, defending your home court is the advantage we have. It's hard to come to Fairbanks. Um, no matter how good a team you are, it, it's hard to come and play in Fairbanks. And we've, we just put up a battle. Um, teams have to defend us. There's some different weapons inside out. and. This is a huge step for us, and hopefully we carry that forward. The team knows they can win. We know we can compete. compete. Northwest Nazarene just beat UAA, who was ranked number three, and we just beat Northwest Nazarene. I mean, the GNAC is so strong that it just shows a lot about our character and our team, and I'm really proud of their efforts. Yeah, and I guess continue on that. Um, Ten wins, first time in a, in a while uh, for UAF. And what does it say about this program, like, so to get, to get 
about this week of basketball pretty much, you know, Thursday, Saturday? You know, winning, that's, that's the thrill of the game, and everybody ranks rates a team based on their wins, right? Um, but what the, the numbers don't really say is that there's a lot of heart and a lot of character about these kids, and that's what it takes to build a program. I mean, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't put it together, have the rhythm and make things click, and kids that care about each other and the university and, and, and the community, you're not going to have a program. And that's what we've built here, that's what we've developed, and these, these young women are are the results of those efforts from myself and my assistant coaches and I'm just proud of that and hopefully we carry it forward. Job, Darren! <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks you guys. Thanks, guys.